Hey you guys, today we are doing a red glossy eye inspired by Lana's song Cherry, or Cherry as I can never remember, but I love Lana and her new album. So um, let's get started. I am going to be using the NYX Cosmetics um, foundation to base my eye today. It's the Total Drop Control one. I did notice my bottle separated, which means the oil came out of the formula. Um, if this happened to you, it will change the way it applies, so make sure to shake that bottle really well before applying it to your eyes. And I'm using the brush that NYX recommends using with it, and then I'm going to base it with the melt shade classic this is a neutral shadow that's really close to my skin tone but it has a yellow undertone so it kind of brightens and helps shadows blend really well um, and then I am adding to my crease the sugar pill shade love plus this is one of those few shades that applies red and not pinky red, so I really like it. I use a combination of Smith Cosmetic Brushes and the Cosette brush. And if you're looking at the angle or wondering what angle is good for you, I just went from the lower lash line and angled it straight up following the arc of my eyebrow. I haven't shaved the back half yet, so ignore that. <laughs> um, and then I'm buffing it with that same A23 brush from ABH. I'm applying a red shimmer shadow from the new Melt Cosmetics um, Hotbox Collection in the shade Haze. Your fingertips have oils on them that help shimmers apply really well, although the Melt shade doesn't really need it because it's a great formula, but it's similar to using a damp brush. It's just your finger, really accessible. I would definitely recommend it. It's not a professional as long as you have like sanitary hands, you know what I'm saying? Um, on a client, I would probably stick to a brush though, but you know, whatever works. Um, then. For underneath my eye, for any fallout and or falling down shadows I had, like if you've ever noticed like a shadow kind of migrates downward and you're like, hey, I don't remember that putting there. Um, just cover it up with some foundation or your foundation brush with no um, additional product. You can just buff it and kind of clean up. Um, I felt like I needed a little bit more foundation, so I put that on there. Um, and if you can see my frantic face, it's because I ran out of the foundation I thought I was gonna use. Um, so I was like, oh no, what's happening? Um, and <laughs> it's also the total drop control foundation from NYX. It's just one shade down from what I use on my eyes. And do not forget to get your ears because my ears are bright red. So if you have a similar problem, you, you definitely want to hit them with some foundation. Or not, you know, it's totally up to you guys. Um, I'm taking this, <laughs> taking this shade that I base my eyes with and I'm going on to the highlight points of my face, under the eyes, middle of the forehead, upper lip, center of the chin, and top of the nose. I got way too much product on my nose, so I'm trying to wipe it off, but it didn't work super well. So I just used my finger and then buffed it on. Um, sometimes when I have a liquid foundation on top of a liquid foundation and I smear it with the brush, it kind of takes off what's underneath. So I de definitely recommend patting motions. This is a trick I wanted to show you with the KVD brush. By holding the center of the bristles taut, you can kind of get a more defined, sharper line without having to clean up afterwards if you don't like that harsh line that cleaning up your contour gives you. So if you can see how sharp that line is just by holding the bristles taut in the middle like that and then flipping to the other side and buffing straight up instead of the apple of your cheek, make sure to bronze towards the back and upwards if that's the look that you're going for. Otherwise, bronze wherever you want to because makeup has no rules, you guys. Next, I'm highlighting with the Melt Cosmetics highlighters in Gold Ore and Stargazer. Gold Ore is a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but if you're paler, sometimes I feel like white highlights can look patchy, so I always base it with a gold one. The new ABH Cream Lipsticks. It was not as controversial as the subculture palette, hashtag the WTF palette, but I love this shade and I really like the formula. It's actually similar to the Melt Cosmetics formula. Um, Space Cakes from Melt Cosmetics is a little bit more blue toned, um, so I really appreciate having options of gray since they're like my favorite lip color. Um, and Griffin from ABH is a great shade. I'm adding some gloss from a local Austin cruelty free company called Ray Cosmetics with my finger. Avoid it getting into your eye, um, and it'll just make your eyes look glazed and like a summer cherries for the picking. That's it for this video, you guys. Subscribe, comment, and like if you feel like it. Be sure to find me on the Instagram, Snapchats, Twitter, whatever social media junk you want to find me on. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for joining and for all of your support. Bye.